ಮತಮಿತಿಷ್ಠಂತಿ ಮಾನವಾತಮಿತಿಷ್ಠಂತಿ ಮಾನವಾಂತೋ ನ ಸೂಯಂತೋ ಮುಚ್ಯಂತೆ ಕರ್ಮಿ ಭ್ಯಸೂಯಂತೋ ನಾನು ತಿಷ್ಠಂತಿ ಮೇ ಮತಭ್ಯಸೂಯಂತೋ ನಾನು ತಿಷ್ಠಂತಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ಯೋಗ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ವ್ಯೂ ದಿ ಆಸ್ಪೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಅಕೇಶನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಥ್ರೋ ಲೈಟ್ on the concept of raja yoga as revealed by god directly through the medium of shrimad bhagavad gita gita one should understand is first of all a divine scripture of yoga and hence the same is described as yoga shastra meaning a scripture of yoga hence god or paramatma is also called by the name yogeshwar as the focus of gita is entirely on yoga which is also known as sahaj raj yoga meant to, to divinize the whole of mankind dwelling on this planet right now international day of yoga is celebrated every year on 21st june as yoga day since 2015 on the initiative of the honorable prime minister of our country Shri Narendra Modi in 2014 the United Nations General Assembly declared 21st of June as Yoga Day with this initiative yoga got a unique identity or special recognition around the world on this occasion three important goals were sought to be achieved for the benefit of the entire human kind through yoga what are those three goals global health global harmony and global peace but in today's world it is observed that these three important goals which are sought to be achieved through yoga are completely set aside or sidelined people reckon yoga merely as an exercise in bending the body in variety of postures as well as a process of controlling the breath and conclude that yoga means yoga asanas and pranayama we observe that yoga day is celebrated in all nooks and corners of the world only by doing this collectively from this it becomes clear that yoga is understood only as a physical process described as hatha yoga now what we need to understand is that through these two physical processes namely yoga asanas and pranayama how the people living in this world can become perfectly healthy how harmonious relations can be created amongst them and how world peace is ensured one needs to deeply introspect to understand this aspect clearly let us first take the subject of global health what is global health how to get it global health can be achieved only when 8 billion people dwelling in this world are healthy everyone has complete faith in the slogan health is wealth but how many people are making sincere and serious efforts to become perfectly healthy in today's world it is no 
exaggeration to think that the number of sick people in the world is multiplying rapidly with every passing day. Before we understand the concept of global health, let us know what truly the concept of health implies. The World Health Organization defines health as complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. That completeness is also described as holistic health. This definition makes it clear that health is not just about the body. Nowadays, people do not even pay full attention to physical health. They are not so much aware of what truly constitutes mental and social health. Due to this, people are getting sick day by day. Mental health is related to the mental well-being of the individual while social health is related to the efforts made by people for the welfare of the society. In this way, in today's society, we observe that no one is paying attention to mental and social health due to lack of proper awareness on what truly constitutes perfect or complete health. The main reason, as we discussed, is reckoning yoga entirely as a physical process called Hatha Yoga. Because of this, the present day mankind is deprived of complete health. Deadly diseases like BP, diabetes, heart attacks, kidney failure, paralysis, cancer, depression, etc., which are currently engulfing the world, have been diagnosed as psychosomatic diseases, that is, diseases caused 100% by mental stress. If everyone refers to words like stress, tension, pressure, then it should be understood how stress or tension within the mind described as mental stress plays havoc with people's health. Millions and millions of pharmaceutical manufacturing companies, diagnostic centers, scanning centers, multi-speciality hospitals, Crores of medical shops all over the world reveal beyond any iota of doubt that health care industry is day by day becoming more and more profitable business nowadays. If we have failed to get rid of this problem through yogasana and pranayama, then it becomes abundantly clear that global health will never be achieved through these two physical processes. Let us now discuss. The second goal, namely global harmony, proposed by the United Nations Organization. It is meant to develop a sense of harmony among the 8 billion people living on this planet. It is totally a matter of human relations meant to fundamentally eliminate the ever-growing differences or conflicts among the people so that everyone can live in peace and harmony respecting fellow human beings. This simply means to establish universal brotherhood and Vasudaiva Kutumbakam on this planet where the whole world lives as one family. People particularly of Bharat repose immense faith in these two divine concepts. However, everyone will say in one voice, that no such situation prevails in the present day world. Growing enmity amongst people of different castes or legions, frauds, violence, bribery, murders, looting, wars, billions of court litigations is a clear indication that there is no sense of harmony among the people. The efforts made by the United Nations Organization other non-governmental organizations, NGOs, reputed social service institutions and people to develop a sense of harmony among the people are not yielding the desired results. However, it is no exaggeration to say that the divine words like Sarve Janaha Sukhino Bhavantu, Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhavantu, which are 100% meant to promote a sense of harmony in the universe uttered by the people in the presence of God in their prayer rooms and prominent places of worship 
are limited just to words and never intended to put them into practice. Through this discussion, it has become abundantly clear that one cannot promote global harmony through yogasanas and pranayama. Now let us focus our attention on the third goal set by the United Nations Organization through yoga, which is global peace. It is no exaggeration that the words global peace have any meaning only when all the people of the world live in peace. Global peace and global harmony are inextricably linked. When there is harmony among the people of the world, then only everyone will experience true and lasting peace. Only then will there be world peace. At present, if you ask someone whether you are living peacefully or in sorrow and unrest, Everyone will say with one voice that life is day by day becoming miserable. Such a mental condition invariably leads to stress, tension, pressure. It is no exaggeration that human beings experience the sorrows and sufferings from the moment they come out of the mother's womb and continue to suffer until their last breath. That's why elders describe this mental tension as plaguing the people from the womb to the tomb. This mental pressure destroys the sense of harmony among people and makes them sick. The two goals affirmed by the United Nations Organization, namely global health and global harmony, can be achieved only through establishment of peace in the universe and not just by doing yogasanas and pranayama. Through this discussion, it is clear beyond any iota of doubt that the goals set by the United Nations Organization while declaring June 21st as Yoga Day, namely global health, global harmony and global peace can never be achieved only through yogasanas and pranayama. Then, a question will naturally arise in everyone's mind that on what basis United Nations Organization, UNO, and the member countries have passed the resolution accepting the proposition that it is possible to establish world health, world harmony, and world peace through yoga. To understand this, we have to go into the root of the word yoga. Please observe the definition of the term yoga as revealed by Google. Google says that yoga is not a method of physical exercise, but a complete technique which takes man to the highest state he can reach. In one word, the true meaning of yoga was described as connection or union. The word yoga is derived from the Sanskrit word yus, meaning connection. Connection between what? will be the next question. It is revealed that the connection is between individual consciousness and universal consciousness. Consciousness is to be understood as Chaitanya Shakti or the conscient power within every human being. Every human being on this planet is to be recognized as a combination of two entities, namely the non-sentient and the sentient. The physical aspect which is non-sentient and the metaphysical aspect which is sentient described by the word consciousness. While the physical body made of bones, flesh, blood and skin is 100% destructive or perishable, the conscient energy that resides within the physical body and operates the physical body is described in spiritual parlance as soul. Since this energy or soul is present in every human being living on this planet in the spiritual world, the concept universal consciousness represents the supreme father of all human souls eulogized as Param Atma. That divine entity is described as Bhagawan or God in the religious scriptures. The union of these two entities the conscient energy within the body 
described as soul power and the energy from the unique and most powerful entity called supreme soul or param atma or god is called yoga thus yoga in simple terms means sweet spiritual communion between the soul and the supreme soul we get the clarity about this unique yoga only in shrimad bhagavad gita and nowhere else as this yoga is the king of all the yogas presently available on this planet gita describes it as raja yoga as this is a unique and mysterious this is described as raja guhya yoga which one can observe in the title of chapter 9 of shrimad bhagavad gita let us now try to understand the prominence given to the concept of yoga in the gita the word yoga is mentioned in as many as 93 verses out of 574 bhagwan vacha verses of the gita apart from this another interesting and surprising revelation is that the names of all the 18 chapters of gita end with the word yoga please note this with attention arjuna vishad yoga sankhya yoga karma yoga jnana karma sanyasa yoga karma sanyasa yoga atma samyama yoga jnana vijnana yoga akshara brahma yoga raja vidya raja guhya yoga vibhuti yoga vishwarupa darshana yoga bhakti yoga kshetra kshetrajna vibhaga yoga gunatraya vibhaga yoga purushottama prapti yoga daivasura sampada vibhaga yoga shraddhatraya vibhaga yoga and moksha sanyasa yoga along with this the words brahma vidyayam yoga shastre appearing at the end of each chapter categorically declare that the essence of the 574 bhagwan vacha verses is only yoga and yoga and nothing else one more very important aspect to be noted by the lovers of gita and lovers of truth what is that we find two clear cut evidences or proofs in gita that this raja yoga is entirely meant for the spiritual upliftment of the 8 billion people currently living on this planet the first evidence is the words vishwa jagat loka sarva and iha are found in as many as 137 verses and the second proof is the words manushya manava praja nara and jana representing humans are observed in at least 25 verses everyone knows very well that human beings are not found on any other planet other than this planet at this point of time some important verses of shrimad bhagavad gita are being placed before you which reveal the importance of raja yoga with abundant clarity please pay attention chapter 2 verse 48 what it says this raja yoga stabilizes our mental state chapter 2 verse 50 it says through this raja yoga we achieve perfection or efficiency in all our actions verse 3 in chapter 4 what it says this raja yoga is very ancient and mysterious the 11th verse in 5th chapter raja yoga purifies the soul In the fifth chapter, twenty-first verse, Raja Yoga leads to self-realization and bestows eternal happiness. Chapter six, twenty-third verse reveals that Raja Yoga removes all miseries plaguing the present-day mankind. In sixth chapter, thirty-second verse, Raja Yoga reveals the divine secret of identifying all human beings as spiritual beings, meaning souls. in chapter 6 verse 47 the revelation is one who surrender his mind and intellect is reckoned as the best of all yogis chapter 8 verse 14 reveals the process 
as to how one can attain God very easily. There is a very important revelation in 8th chapter verse 28. The verse reveals that yoga is far, far superior when compared to study of the Vedas, performing yajyas, undertaking intense penance and undertaking variety of charitable activities. The two verses, namely 9th chapter 34th verse, 18th chapter 65th verse reveal that surrendering the mind to God is recognized as true yoga. The 12th chapter 14th verse reveals that divine virtue of contentment is attained quite easily through yoga. Now the question that naturally arises in everyone's mind is why this wonderful Raja Yoga which enables one to attain so many attainments, Siddhis, directly from God still remains a mystery or secret. To get a definite answer to this question, one has to thoroughly understand the Ashtanga Yoga Sutras, namely Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi propounded by Maharshi Patanjali. If those sutras are properly and accurately understood and put into practice, then there can be absolutely no doubt that one will be able to realize God through the concept of Raja Yoga as revealed in Srimad Bhagavad Gita. The same truth is emphatically made clear by the word Dharana, which is the second of the Ashtanga Sutras of Sage Patanjali and the concepts of Swadhyaya and Ishwara Pranidhana revealed under Niyama, the second sutra of Sage Patanjali. The three concepts namely Dharana, Swadhyaya and Ishwara Pranidhana emphasize beyond any doubt that Raja Yoga represents the unique spiritual communion between souls and the Supreme Soul described as Paramatma or God. But in today's time, people have completely rejected the six sutras, namely Yama, Niyama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi propounded in the Ashtanga Yoga Sutras of Patanjali Maharshi and conveniently adopted only two sutras, namely asanas and pranayama, which 100% represent the physical aspect of the human personality, ignoring the spiritual aspect completely. This is the fundamental cause of confining yoga only to asanas and pranayama, which as we discussed relate only to the physical side of the human personality. What lesson have we learned from this detailed discussion? Yoga means not just yogasanas and pranayama. It is a beautiful, divine, spiritual communion between the soul and the Supreme Soul. Through this, the three goals proposed in the United Nations Yoga Day Resolution, that is, establishment of global health, global harmony and global peace is definitely possible and realizable. Very happy to share the good news that nearly 2 million Brahma Kumaris followers belonging to different castes and religions and located in 145 countries in all the five continents are practicing this wonderful and unique Raja Yoga as taught directly by God through Gita and are experiencing perfect health, perfect harmony in relationships and complete peace in their lives. Once again, we convey greetings and good wishes to all the viewers on the occasion of Yoga Day. We hope that you too will find happiness and peace in your life by realizing the truth about yoga revealed in Gita and sage Patanjali's Ashtanga Yoga Sutras. With this, 
we are ending our discussion on the concept of yoga loka samastha sukhino bhavantu om shanti